Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I'm in another filming location, um, but it's Friday, so I'm dog sitting. <coughs> but I wanted to be nice and get some content out um, because I really lack on doing that at the minute. So today I thought I would let you in on the secret of how I get ready. So get ready with me with today's video. Um, as you can tell, my hair is not done or anything, so we're doing the full shebang. Uh, just to pre-warn you, we have been in lockdown since January, so I can't see when I straighten my fringe because it's down here. So just a warning, you will actually see the top half of my face once I finish, <coughs> which will be fun, very very fun. So I'm just gonna brush my hair out of the way because we're going to start with makeup um so the first thing i'm going to use is my number seven airbrush away primer and i like this because it's hypoallergenic so i don't actually react to anything now i don't actually use a lot of this um because i can't obviously put makeup here and here So, if I put the primer on first, it tends to keep the makeup off my actual skin, which is quite nice. Because then I don't spend days upon days dealing with an allergic reaction. Which I can assure you after the last one I had is not fun. <coughs> And now that I've done that, I will put my glasses back on so I can see what the product is. Uh, my number seven Stay Perfect Foundation. Um, <coughs> I can't remember what colour this one is. Ah, uh, Calico. And I got that one because I'm very, very pale. When it comes to summer, I'm not that pale. I'm quite tanned, unlike my dad. But any other time, I'm very pale. Now, I'm just going to get this nail out so I can see what I'm doing. Because normally when I'm doing my makeup, I'm in my dressing room and I've got a really big mirror in front of me and then this little sort of desk mirror that I can see what I'm doing. Now, in this video, I was supposed to be doing my first ever false lash application, but my lash glue hasn't arrived yet, um, so I can't show off the false lashes that I got. Now, those of you that know me personally will know that since I was, even I've forgotten now because it's been so long, I think it was about when I was 13 or 14, I was diagnosed with alopecia. Um, I had massive chunks of hair missing in the top of my head about here and here. So if I wanted to wear my hair in anything other than a ponytail or down, I had to sort of shape shift it. But it's doing that on the daily for school at 7 o'clock in the morning wasn't fun. 
<clears throat> so what I tended to do was just scoop it back in a ponytail or just go with the flow and wear it like this. Um, it wasn't exactly the best look of my life. Um, but now my hair has started to grow back. Um, I have no patches around here at the minute, um, but I do have no eyelashes, they're non-existent, like, I've got about three eyelashes per eye, and I've not once had to do my eyebrows, I don't have to shave them, shave them or anything, alopecia does that for me, so, yeah, oh, because I'm so busy talking, I've just forgot to tell you what this product was, um, this is Miss Beauty Liquid Concealer and it's obviously the palest again. Um, <clears throat> back to my alopecia. I was supposed to be getting wearing some false lashes with this out glow. Um, I got them from the David N. Uh, I will tag the David N's lash page in the description, and you can go check them out. Um, but it was supposed to be nice for me to have actual full lashes for once. But Amazon will have another ideas. But when they do arrive, <clears throat> when my last glue does arrive, um, I will post a photo on my Instagram. The only time I really use concealer is uh, when I've got really bad under eyes. The rest of the time, I use this limited collection blemish corrector. Because I just go like that over my spots before I put my foundation on. And it gets rid of it really easy. <coughs> um, I have brought down a lash primer and mascara just in case I did feel like doing what little lashes I have left. Um, I think I will do just to complete the look. I'm not going to bother with eyeliner because my eyes are very fragile today. But I had brought down Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner in the most beautiful blue in the world. <clears throat> and I'm sorry this video has taken so long. But I wanted to like do a get ready with me and talk about everything in the world. So normally when I've done my foundation I will do my eyes but I just want to see how my hair is pinning out this morning. And if the side parts aren't too bad I will just go in and quickly straighten my fringe. Because if my um, actual hair, hair, like my long hair, looks okay, I can get away with just shoving a headband on normally. And that does look okay, so I will just go in and straighten my fringe when I'm done. So, for eyeshadow palettes, I've brought down Revolution uh, palette, Midnight Unicorn. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. <clears throat> and I've also brought down Barry M Meteor Storm. Um, I'm going to mix one of them together. Um, I'm going to 
going and be very neon because I've got a neon top and I've actually got a neon headband so I'm going to go in with the blue and hope that it isn't quite bright Now how I do my makeup compared to other YouTubers and other girls is I don't do it all the way up here. Um, obviously because of my sensitive skin. But also because on me I think it looks stupid. So what I tend to do is I do my eyelid and then I do a bit of colour underneath. Now the first time I did this kind of whole lining the underneath of my eye, it was purely by accident. And um, what I'd done was close my eyes and do my eyeshadow and gone a bit too far. Which I thought was quite funny because in the end it worked out quite well. So that's that with that. But that's what I mean by doing this. And then what I do normally with a different brush but I forgot all my brushes is I go in with this lovely shimmery gold and just tap a bit Just get a bit of shimmer going on. And then that is done. So then what I do is I try and tame my fringe a bit. Um my new Remington straighteners, uh, they did come as part of a hair dryer set. So I've got a matching hair dryer. This is obviously so much easier when I'm in my dressing room. Because I obviously have the heat through styling dock, uh, so I can just drop these in when I'm done. I always heat my straighteners up to 190. Now those of you that went to school with me will know that I'm pretty obsessed by hair bows and headbands. If you were in many of my science lessons, you will know that I got a headband taken off me. And lastly, I'm going to go in with W7 Mad About Mattes Gothic Purple. 
because there's no better colour than this. And that made me done and ready for my day. Apart from trying to see. Made me done. I will kind of move my fringe to the side so you can see. Nice. Nice me. All done. Thank you for coming to watch. I'm really sorry about the angles at the end here. I just wanted to show off like my makeup and a close up of my fringe. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're new here, leave a like, comment, subscribe. My Instagram. Is linked down below um, and I'm gonna link the David and lashes as well and um, just so you can see what I have ready and waiting and um, I'm gonna go now and go do some editing I hope everyone has a lovely lovely day uh, remember to stay safe and I love you all.